All right, today's video is gonna be on these R5 batteries. I made a video yesterday showing you how to wake them up, how to use them. Today, I'm testing how far you can push them before they'll quit. And so I know inside the uh, BMS board says 15 amp, right? So which leads us to believe that they're 50 amps, but let's look at the internal uh, MOSFETs. Okay, so let's look at the MOSFETs. I have one here and let's see if we can look at the name of these MOSFETs. Here we go, can we read that? All right, so I think I found it here. It's this guy right here, FBD3307Z. Uh, there are other sub numbers there that come up and I can't find it. There's a bunch of them that have different numbers, but they all seem to be this, 75 volts, 120 amp, uh, 5.8 milliohm, I guess. Uh, so 120 amp times uh, three or four in this case, right? Um, yeah, this thing should be able to do 25 amps, no problem. And that's what we're seeing in that test that we're running, currently running right now. Let's see if we can push that until the battery shuts off. Right, so it might seem that these will be able to do more than 15 amps. Right here, I just started this test and I am removing 27 amps. So I'm loading it with 27 amps. Uh, I'm just using, this is the meter right here, right? And then this is just going into here. This is just a grid tie inverter. I was trying to use this limiter thing, but it's it hasn't been working out. But basically uh, 700, almost 800 watts. Uh, I think there's a way where you can uh, tell it. No. No, that's about it. Okay. So this one will show it to you here. It had the amp hours. Let's see what this will end up being at. Um, supposed to have 12.8 amp hours i think battery right when it was brand new uh we'll, let's just see this is just a random pack out of the pallet that we woke it up and now we're testing and removing energy at quite fast too so if you whatever we get tonight right uh you can expect to see a little bit more of that if you lower the uh rate at which you remove the energy because we're pushing it. I mean, this is this is pretty pretty far, right? We're pushing those little MOSFETs and those batteries at 27 amps, uh, 800 watts, right? So, all right. So the battery is holding at 27 amps. Look at that down to 33%, right? So 4.2 amp hours to go. The voltage still almost at 32 volts right so this battery is holding like a champ holding like a champ let's see what the final number is gonna be all right this is not the best meter to use because it reset after the battery turned off so I'm gonna have to use another one but it was at 85 percent uh, before it reset right so yeah, so we were able to get about 85%. Now, keep in mind, this is the first cycle that this battery has done in a while. So maybe if we cycle it again, uh, you will get closer to maybe 90. Um, that's what I, I'm gonna think. I think uh, we have several other ones in here that we can try, but I think this is just a random battery. I charged it up. This is a random battery that was off, by the way. Not all of them are off. Some of them are on, but the ones that are off, you know, the question might come up is like, well, how much life is there? Was there any damage done to the batteries, to the cells? Because it was off because they were so low, right? And low voltage. And usually that is damaging for batteries. So this is just a random one. The first one that I picked off of the stack and I charged it up. So this is, uh, you know, this is representative of just a random thing. Um, your uh, battery that you get when you buy this might be the same, might be similar, or might be completely different, right? There's going to be some bad ones in there. There's going to be some that are 100% still there, right? Almost like lightly used. Uh, I think that's just what uh, we get when we get these pallets of batteries that 
we just don't really know where they're at. And so the reason why this is at 85% it quit is because the, the BMS turned itself off. So basically it got down to the voltage that it was low that it triggered the BMS to shut off, right? So that's pretty much, that. that's the usable capacity. It was, uh, it had two amp hours left. What in it? I think at 1.75 amp hours left, I think something like that, right? So if you do the math, let's do the math see here. Yeah, so the, out of 12.8, I think we were able to get about 11 amp hours out of the this battery times 36. This is like not, uh, four, 396 watt hours, right? So almost, almost 400 watts hours out of the total 460 watt hours, right? So maybe after a few cycles, you'll gain some more of that. But there you go. This is just uh, a simple test. And here's the cool thing. You can do almost. So 27. I did this test at 27 amps. Continues the entire way. Also, yeah, if you do this at a slower pace, right? Uh, at a less than peak power output, right? Then you might get better results than the uh, 400 watts or 396 watts out of this pack. So there you go it's just a simple quick test on these r5 batteries